gorgeous. I hear, I got lost on the way here. I think I fell down a rabbit hole. That was so gaudy. Oh my God. Hey creators. Welcome to Sammy Says Create. And if you're new here, I'm Sammy and this is the channel where I do all sorts of DIY and creative projects and I bring you along for the ride. So today is part two of my learning to glitter with Mod Podge. So last week you would have seen me show you how to glitter with Mod Podge and just do this to some of your household items. This video is all about using that technique, taking it a little bit further and upcycling a gorgeous pair of heels. So without further ado, let's roll those titles. <laughs> I finally have a work table oh my god cute new little table cute little light box today's video is all going to be about upcycling a gorgeous pair of heels in the glitter mod podge mod podge mod podge I literally can never get it right in the mod podge technique that I showed you in last week's video but I've had this planned for a while uh, and I'm just so desperate to jump in and kind of get started on it. So I was initially inspired by a video that I saw from Customised Bling Things and it was a pair of Nightmare Before Christmas upcycled shoes which I loved so much. I bought these shoes off the internet second hand super super cheap. I think they cost me about three quid something like that. So I loved the style and I definitely knew that I could tweak these. I had a general idea of what I wanted to do for these but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do so I've just got a load of bits and bobs. I'm just going to have a play around with it really and I'm going to see what I think works best. You can just take the generic techniques and add your own twist to things. Do whatever themed shoes you want. So of course in order to do this you will need your shoes. You will obviously also need your Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Mod Podge, paintbrush, I've got my glitters as well, so you'll notice that these are the same glitters that I used last week. Uh, so these ones are the iridescent ones, and they're a bit smaller, so they just look, they blend in a little bit nicer than the bigger glitter. I've got the Alice colours and the Cheshire Cat colours. I also got hold of Alice in Wonderland themed stickers. So they do these in colour and they do these in black and white. I will pop the link down below. I knew I wanted the bottom of the shoe to be kind of a decoupage style, but I really struggled finding an Alice in Wonderland decoupage paper that wasn't like really, really expensive. So I've also got a range of white ribbons. I've got a couple of different craft ribbons. So I've got this one here, which has got little hearts on it. This one that's just a bit of a, a frill and this one is a thicker ribbon. I've also got a black ribbon. I know for definite that I want to tie these into little bows and I want these to go on the back of the shoe on the heel. Black paint which I'm just going to finish off any going around the line. A trusty glue gun. Can't live without a glue gun. And finally just some of the little knick-knacky bits. Oh sorry they're really crinkly. So I've got these beads. These obviously had the little roses. I thought they would be quite nice maybe to pop on the front of the shoe. So a little disclosure, I have already started filming this video previously just because of the kind of amount of layers that it takes of the glitter and it has taken place over a couple of days. The lighting will change, the location will change and my clothes will change and stuff like that but that is the reason why. So without further ado, let's stop chatting, grab yourself a brew, make yourself comfy and let's get started on our Alice in Wonderland themed upcycled shoes. So my first job here was to take my Alice in Wonderland stickers and I just stuck them to the soles of the shoes. So I arranged them quite nicely, how they would work together. You could use a decoupage paper here like I was explaining previously. I then grabbed out the Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and did one layer over the top of the stickers. And I left that to dry probably for about half an hour before moving on. I then painted a layer of the Mod Podge around the outside of the shoe, so I ignored the heel, we'll move on to the heel later on, we're just concentrating on the actual shoe first. Then it's all about just pouring the glitter onto the shoe, so obviously try and be as careful as you can with this and drop it all onto a single piece of paper and that way you can just pour the glitter back into the bag, but it's really simple and really easy this bit. 
I found that two coats of the blue glitter was just about perfect but judge it yourself really based on what you think so obviously I had to let each coat dry in between and I did a top coat of Mod Podge as well just to secure the glitter in place and stop it from dropping. So it does take some patience for these glitter stages but it's definitely worth it in the end. I then used painter's tape or you could use masking tape to just mark out the stripes on the heel and make sure you keep the heels next to each other so both heels are even. I added a layer of Mod Podge to the parts of the heel that were uncovered just to create the stripes and I glittered that section purple and again did it on both shoes and left it to dry. So I did two coats of this with a top layer of Mod Podge again and this was kind of generally what I did for all of my glittering. Once that top layer of Mod Podge was dry I then pulled off the painter's tape carefully to reveal the stripes and I repeated the glittering process to make the other stripes pink. So just one thing to be really careful of is try to avoid cross-contaminating your glitter. It's really important to do this in stages so things just don't get all meshed together and make sure you wash your paintbrush between each glitter application as well. I left all those layers of glitter to dry and picked it up the next day and this is how they turned out. So they look awesome so far, look at that shimmer. My first port of call on this brand new day was to make sure that my glue gun was on and was heating up as I used it for the rest of the decoration for the shoes. So this was one of the craft ribbons that I picked up. I knew I wanted to make the bottom edge of the shoe where the stickers met the glitter a little bit neater and I thought this would be a brilliant way to hide any kind of flaws or anything like that. And this is where I casually used my cup of coffee to hold up my shoe whilst I started the sticking process. And I did this over both of my shoes. And this was the final trim on the bottom which I absolutely loved, it looked so nice. I possibly wouldn't do this if I knew that I was going to wear the shoes just as it might get a bit tattered on the floor but I know I'm not wearing these, these are going to be a shelf piece for me so that's fine. I did try something here with the white ribbon, I tried to kind of concertina it so it was a bit of a ruffle but I really, I just hated it so after a while I just thought it looked a little bit tacky so I ripped it off completely. Bye bye horrible ruffle, but it is all about experimenting, so. Slight change of plan, I used the other white ribbon that I got hold of just to put round the outside of the top of the shoe, so it's these cute little hearts, so it looked really really nice. Definitely better than the horrible ruffle. This is what the little heart trim looked like a little bit closer up. And at this point I am literally like squeeing with excitement because these shoes already look so good and I'm already so in love with them. Next I grabbed my packet of roses and I only had one red rose unfortunately so I had to go for the pink ones but I wanted to stick them on the front of the shoe just to represent the painting of the roses in the books. I seriously love Alice in Wonderland, it really is one of the, my most favourite things. If you love Alice in Wonderland just as much as me, pop a comment down below and just let me know because it's just incredible. My next step was to create some black bows to go on the back of the shoe. I just wanted this to represent the black bow that Alice wears in her hair and I think it would just be a really nice addition to the heel. But I did just give the ribbons a bit of a trim as they were a little bit long but I just cut them on an angle and just lined them up next to each other so they were all even. And my final step was just to take the black paint and go over the lines on the heel. This just made them stand out a little bit better. 
and yes I am using a makeup brush here because I didn't have a paintbrush small enough but you know just feel free to improvise And there I had my final Alice in Wonderland themed upcycle shoes. I love these so much. Look how much they glitter. I decided to keep the gold in the middle because I thought the glitter kind of matched quite nicely so I wasn't too fussed about changing that but I think they look absolutely stunning. I really do. And there we have it. So I have managed to turn those gold heels that we saw at the beginning of the video into these Alice in Wonderland inspired heels, which I have to admit, I think they're more of a piece of artwork, to be honest with you. Now, like I said, I probably won't be wearing these purely for the fact that I can't walk in heels like this. For me, it was more of a statement piece, maybe to pop on a shelf. I have a whole Alice in Wonderland themed shelf so they will fit perfectly on that shelf. There's a spot waiting for them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to mod podge with glitter. Please let me know down below if you have enjoyed it and what other things that you might want me to do in kind of part series is. I've really enjoyed the way that I've kind of shown you how to do the technique in the first place and then what we can go on to do with that. And if you've got any ideas for any future videos, please do comment down below. Let me know. I'll see what I can do. And make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that will really, really help to support me. We are quite new. I am only little, but it would be great being able to share with more and more creative people. So that is all for today. I'm going to go and pop these on my Alice in Wonderland shelf. Until next Thursday, stay creative. Bye.